Research Flat Earth, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, why not, right? You know? Cheers, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. We are live outside of U.S. Bank Stadium. Flatlander first. Coming in. Coming in hot. We had a good time. Hey, everybody, we got kicked out of the U.S. Bank Stadium. We got kicked out of your worship center. How you guys doing? Hey. Hey, Research Flat Earth, all right? Thanks. Yep. We don't live on a ball, man. Well, prove to me we do, all right? Research, research flat earth, okay, guys? You guys need to wake up. It's about that time. Stop worshiping your idols at U.S. Bank Stadium. Good to see everybody. We got our last episode of Flat Cab coming up for the night, anyways. Dustin, good to see you, Jordan. Salted Cedar, hey, what's up? We got kicked out of U.S. Bank Stadium. Just a heads up, how you guys doing? Hey, terrific. Research Flat Earth, okay? Check out Flat Earth. We don't live on a sphere. Hurtling millions of miles through space. Had a good night though, it was productive. Oops, that guy dropped his cell phone again. I think it was the same guy from earlier. So, hope everybody's doing well. It was loud in that stadium. Everybody was so happy the Vikings were scoring TDs, kicking the ball through lines up in the sky. You know, good for them. Got this light going wacko on me. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, research flat earth, alright? Oh, I got this light. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> uh, I think because I had a selfie stick, but they also were kind of wondering why I was just hanging out there not watching the game. I got it all on tape, so you guys are definitely going to see it later. Got escorted out of the stadium. They weren't happy I was there promoting something. I wasn't holding Go Vikings. I bet you I would have been able to stay in there if I was even saying the Saints are better than your team. <laughs> Ask them if they live on Satan's spinning ball. Yeah, we hit them really hard though. Really, it was... It was heavy doses of red pills in there. These people are so asleep, it's unbelievable. I got a, a cab coming up, so I might have to... Why is he, why does it say he's here, but is that him right there, dude? Like. This guy doesn't understand. Uh, Hey, fellas, doing? Pretty good. Hey, right on. Research flat Earth, okay? Yeah. Stop worshiping idols in the U.S. Bank Stadium, okay? Weird. Hey, Roman. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Excellent, excellent. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. difficult to pick up. Oh, that's all right, man. It's all good. How's the game? Uh, you know, I didn't watch much of it. Why? No. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't watch much of the games. Yeah. I'm one of those. I went in there to talk about stuff and share information. <laughs> yeah. How was your night? Oh, so far, so good. Okay, good. Uh, busy, you know. I see a lot of people. Oh, yeah. People are everywhere. Yeah. People are, are leaving now. Is, is, 
good to have a bike and here. Yeah, you know, I'm sure it helps out your business, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when is soccer too? Oh yeah. At the uh, uh, you have here or at um, no. I know that they play at TCF too. TCF right Bank. Uh huh. Yeah. Right here or when it's coming like uh, my, uh, in the summer coming uh, Milan and uh, Manchester. Yeah. I was there. Really? Yeah. There was a lot of people right. There were, yeah. I have a DVD here to show you. Really? Yeah, I have uh, it on, on on my channel. I have YouTube channel. Wow. Yeah. It was uh, very exciting because a lot of people and a uh, good team. Oh my God, I see you. I was very happy that day. So you you coming always when uh, every event is in a stadium? No, not always. But if uh, I can, I like to come here, or else I go to the Twins game, and then later I will go to Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh yeah. Yeah, in my YouTube channel, I, I talk to people and share a, a new phrase. Oh. Yeah, new Spanish. What what, what was it? La tierra es plana. La tierra es plana. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah. So what do you What do you think about that? La tierra es plana. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's good because uh, most most of the people uh, need plana, like plano. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That word is very nice. You are. Uh, you. Do you do you think that we live on a on a ball like a sphere in outer space? Ah, oh, that's a little hard. Yeah. Because uh, la tierra es plana means the Earth is flat, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I went to the school, they say it's not plana; it's a, a kind of like ball. Like a soccer ball. Or right? A soccer ball, they say. But. Uh, Really, really, I don't know. That. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why the the time here is, for example, it's seven o'clock, and in Londres is different. Mm -hmm. like a different hour because the the ball is uh, the sun. Sun is around the ball, something like that. Yeah. What if the sun, like, look at your steering wheel? Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. So the steering wheel outside yeah. is like uh, a wall. Uh -huh. Holding the water in is like a pizza, maybe uh -huh. you know. For yeah. example, yeah. yeah. And the Honda, see Honda in the middle there. Uh -huh. It's the North Pole. And so, if the sun goes in a circle around yeah. like that, yeah. And the the sun moves, but the Earth does not. Does yeah. But uh, first, I think the, the Earth moves. Uh huh. Do you feel us moving now? No, we uh, we taught before before uh, went to the school, and then they teach like uh, they say the sun is moving. Uh -huh. and they are... What if they taught you a lie? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, maybe right. Maybe I mean, and that's what I do. I just try to provoke thought and make you think and say, hmm. Oh yeah, that's you know. Wow. Yeah. Because I like to challenge what we are taught because a lot of what we are taught is not true you know uh -huh. church it's like a church yeah, school they, is church yeah the you know? church too like they say in the morning and uh, like uh, the god is coming and when we are when we not have food we in the future but uh, some people say who told you that uh -huh. do you think is that true yeah and it's faith, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it's faith. That's it. when you go to school, it's like faith. Because mm -hmm. you believe what someone else tells you, mm -hmm. you know, but you cannot go to outer space, right? Yeah. So you have to believe that they went to outer space for you, right? And so you have to believe them. Yeah, I, I just choose not to believe them. You? Yeah, you I choose not to. In everything? Or? Uh, most, yeah. <laughs> very, very much, yes, a lot. Uh huh. It's okay or no? Because, uh, yeah, 
have because you everybody have a uh, own opinion sure you know everybody have their own mind they think whatever they want to think uh, like uh, the good thing that's like for example you think that's not true because you are smart or something you are wanna you wanna know what is exactly something like that sure you have family yeah mm -hmm. What about you? No, sir. You are single? Yes, yeah, single. Mm -hmm. uh, very difficult to find a girl who likes my thought life. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's difficult for a lot of people cannot understand why I think Earth is flat and not a ball. So, yeah. very small amount of people understand. in the future they're going to show like uh, they they come in along not, not, you don't have to find out right away or something like that right uh, yeah it's it's not uh, oh you want to look far, far left 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 yeah grazie how long you live in America 10 years 10 years yeah. okay and I like it yeah so right here is a, how I say, it's more, uh, more opportunities. Opportunities, yeah. yeah. the window in, uh, in my country they don't have Lyft or Uber oh, okay yeah so if you drive a taxi it's a lot of money to get into the company okay yeah so right here is it's, it's easy if you got it like a uh, driver license good or you don't have any any criminal records it's easy to get into the You have family still? Yeah. And where are you from again? I'm sorry. Ecuador. Ecuador, okay. Yeah. You know where is that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Do you send money to your family in Ecuador? Yeah. I yeah. got it my grandmother. Okay. My grandmother, the, the rest of my family is in here. Great. Um, I encourage people to do that. Yeah, because, yeah. because they, they are thinking and she's thinking in me or in my wife and my kids so the only thing how I can help is like a talk in the phone and uh, send the money sure she's uh, so old. Uh, what do you think about Trump <sighs> um, some people they, they think like a bad but but the one thing I say the immigration is coming from the not from the Trump. It's coming from very long. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, people tell Trump. They, you think people? They, the people say Trump is uh, send the immigration more like a, more frequently, frequently, uh, frequently. But it's not true. Like, uh, for example, when I was illegal, like uh, uh, six years ago. Yeah. Trump wasn't a president. Okay. So, it was other person. When I got in trouble with the uh, with the immigration that morning. Oh, you did? Yeah, and then I figured out and I went to the court and then, and then I I get my papers. So. so everything's okay now? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, it was not easy for for a lot of people to get the papers. Mm -hmm. But we got we to work, you know, like uh, to try it. It's easy well, now for people from Ecuador to come to America? No. No, it's not it's easy. Not easy. Yeah, it's, most of the people, they stopped and so they're not coming like illegal anymore. Okay. Because it's, uh, it's uh, difficult. So some people are, are very poor and they don't have money.
money uh, and they sell like what they have like a cows or horse or something and try to come and never get here mm -hmm. so, so it's very bad for him or for her to stay in there without anything It's good you're here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can send money to your family because yeah. some people, they do not agree with immigration. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't like that. I, I think more people should come here, you know, and we should stop exporting our jobs overseas. Yeah. We have so many people who want to come here and work, uh -huh. you know, so why not? keep our jobs in America instead of giving them away but we have so many jobs go to China we order so much food from China uh -huh. yeah. you know it's no good yeah, that's, I don't know what, what is going to happen in the future I don't know I don't know either because uh, every year is a little more hard and hard and, uh, but the thing is we got it Follow the rules. The yeah. Only thing we gotta do. Yeah, we we kind of do. If we if we wanna like uh, do like uh, fighting against uh, the president or something, it's not gonna help. I uh -huh. know. It's uh, a lot of people. They do a parade outside. But they don't. Uh, they don't have nothing. Like, uh, you, do you know the? Students, they cut the three main, dream, uh, what is the name? Financial aid? No, no, no. The dream, uh, the dream, uh, what is the name for the students who apply for uh, the remain, uh, remain, uh, something like that. But, okay, so they, the student, they are fighting like a three or four years ago, like they, uh, they do a pet, uh, they do like uh, a lot of parades asking to give a paper for the students. Okay. But now the president said no. So that's so sad because uh, many st students is coming for a student and be more uh, more helpful in this country. Yeah. And now they can't because if not, if not going to the college or high school, how, how can we help to the country? Right. Because, for example, me, I'm not went to the, the college and everything, so on. I'm not good helper to the, to the country. Oh, you're going to help her now? You're driving me home. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Everyone plays their part. Everyone cannot be an ear or a nose or an arm, you know? Yeah. If you are called to be a leg, you cannot be an ear, right? Uh huh. So you have to be who you are. And I think for some people, it's very difficult to understand their role and they want to be something that they are not. took me a while to get understanding of my role in society, wow. although most people may not agree with my ideas, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, I think that there should always be someone who challenges the establishment, otherwise they just do whatever they want, That's true. you know. What kind of career do you study? Uh, I use, I, I cook actually. You cook? cook? Yeah, cook many, many years, yeah. You still cook or no? Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, but I usually mostly do YouTube. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm working the kitchen too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I work kitchen 10 years. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm working still in the kitchen. This is my part time. So Where do you cook? I'm a cook right now in the More America in a GW Marriott. Okay. Today and tomorrow I get off, so that's why ah, I'm doing this. Great. I cook usually, I work at uh, Big Bowl. Oh, Big Bowl? Yeah, you know Big Bowl, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's busy, busy place. Yeah, always busy. Sunday, like a uh -huh. pump, yeah, 
Bang Kao, Bang Choi, something like that. Yeah, uh, Kang Pao, Szechuan, it's, it's good though. I, I like the barbecue rice and what else they, uh, they got a curry. Like a, uh, I just, now I just have a YouTube, YouTube channel uh -huh. and advocacy. I, I'm, I'm an activist. So yeah, I bring knowledge to the people and I bring it to where they are. So at the, at the football game, many people will not look up flat earth. You know, so if I go to where they are, then I can show them an idea that they would not usually think about. And so if I go on YouTube and I just make videos, many people will not think to look up YouTube on in flat earth you know or google the idea yeah. so i just go out to where people are how that work like who paid for you or something yeah so i have viewership uh, -huh. uh people who watch my videos will pay for my ticket to go into the stadium yeah. So we pay for the ticket, and then I just go in and I hold the sign uh -huh. saying La Tierra es plana. Yeah. And some people talk to me, some people do not. Some people call me names, uh -huh. you know, ridicule. But wow. it's okay because it's new. Yeah, that's true. You know, we are taught one idea, and if we only think of the one idea, and someone challenges that one idea, it it hurts them because it's new, you yeah. know? Uh -huh. So, but I care about people, you know? I want them to uh, think of an alternative idea, that's all, you know? I cannot convince one person. Yeah, and also the people to convince, they have to read like sometimes, two times. Of the people, and one time they don't understand. Yeah, everywhere in other countries. I know people from Hungary, Germany, UK. What about the, the language? So you, you know a, a, a lot of language? Yeah, most people speak English though. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and you want to be in the left lane here. So, no, <laughs> I wish I did, man. You know, when I grew up in the school, I had opportunity to learn some Spanish, but I had some personal. I wish, uh, I wish I knew Spanish and Thai. Yeah, because a lot of people know Spanish here. Everywhere else, you know, everywhere else on Earth. They know two or three languages. Yeah, Americans only know one, English. <laughs> yeah, some people are very intelligent, I don't know how. Yeah. Uh, learn, learn language is, is not easy. No. Not easy. It's not, especially if you are old. Uh -huh. You know, if you just think English all the time, it's very hard to learn another language. So, I, I say that school teaches lies you know mostly but if there's I guess you know like if there's anything that you could learn in public school is a language then you should do it you know Spanish Russian Chinese Asian like a Japanese or something but you should always you should try to learn another language because if you learn another language it will help you be able to maybe learn another language, uh -huh. you know? Because yeah. you won't be so focused on learning just English. Mm. You know uh, English very well. When did you learn English? I learned it like in, the, in my job. Oh, okay, your job. Yeah, yeah. when I tried to go to school right in uh, Minneapolis, but uh, I married and I got a kids and that's why I can't go. I went only three months. Okay. For adult, uh, adult school. And the, the rest I, I learned in, like in, in my job. And, you know, every year, a little bit, a little bit. It's hard. <laughs> and now you're
you're perfect, right? Uh, not very. <laughs> no, no, no. You're better than I am. You know more English than I know Spanish, so you're <laughs> good. You are doing very well. And sometimes I read a lot of uh, like uh, crisis, like uh, job opportunity, but not for looking my for job, and just uh, to learning how they writing and if I understand or not. Uh -huh. You're doing very well. Nice job, Roman. And I, how you say that when this, I'm, I got it 40 years already, so that's uh, okay. That's a yeah. It's a little hard. Yeah. How late you go to work tonight? I think just two more rides. That's it. Two more rides, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing in live is like a, whenever you can. You, if you are like, uh, if you want to work more, so you can work more. You can work yeah. 48 hours if you want to, huh? <laughs> but it's too much. <laughs> yeah, you need break for sure. Yeah. It's, it's good too. Look, you see it like come with one person, yeah, nice conversation, and, and uh, new place. We never come to this way. Yeah. What does your wife do? She works in a uh, in uh, Minneapolis public school. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's nice, well, so. so she's a teacher, huh? No, she's helper to the people, like uh, for the translator. Uh, mostly translator and fill it out the paper for shots. Uh, Fill out the paper for uh, insurance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Most Great. Of a lot of people need help. They don't know how, how to start or how uh, where where they can go for uh, for insurance or something like that. Sure. Uh, you got to get off here. Yeah. Okay. How long she do that for? Uh, it's six years right now. Yeah. Oh wow. She went to the school. Oh, she went to school. Yeah. <laughs> she graduated. From That's high good. And... You met her in Ecuador. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, great. You have your children in Ecuador or America? I I have in Ecuador the first one, and then uh, and then she come with uh, with me, and she got a she got a papers, and she went to the the college right now. Oh, she is okay. So this year she started. Terrific. Yeah. She went to the Oxford College and downtown. Oxford. Yeah. Okay. Close Terrific. To the stadium. And what she want to do? She wanna learn like a, a criminal justice. Oh, really? Like that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, she's. Uh, yeah. We we'll see first. <laughs> We're gonna see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's four years. It's a lot of money too. It's very expensive. You live right here? Yeah, I live just right up a couple miles away here. It's very nice, very quiet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whereabouts do you live? I live in Minneapolis. Yeah. Okay. How long you lived there the whole time? Uh, no, first I was in, uh, in New York for one year. Oh, New York, huh? And then moved. So I was in Maurice and then in South. So only two places. <laughs> you like in New York or? No, here. No. You like here, man? I like here. Yeah. Most of you got uh, kids. Uh huh. It's a lot of place you can take, like to the park or to the lakes. Sure. So. Yeah, it's many people come here from out of the country and they love it. They love America. And they yeah, love uh, it's, Minnesota. It's nice. Yeah. This is more, but everything is in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
Born and raised in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You never thinking like move to the other state. It's, <coughs> it's a good opportunity, I think. Live outside the country for a month or so. Wow. You know, because it gives you another perspective. Another idea. Yeah. Thailand is second, third world country, you know. Mm -hmm. It has its poor areas, but, you know, downtown Bangkok has, you know, Mall of America, right? Uh-huh. Thailand has malls bigger than Mall of America all really? over. Oh, yeah, everywhere. Wow. It's bigger. Seven floors. Yeah, it's. I thought that I thought more America is more bigger than. Everywhere. No, uh, uh. But in some places in Thailand, it's very poor. You know, like Ecuador has yeah. poor areas, and people think America has poor areas. It's no comparison to. Uh, here, I, I don't see like. All nice houses, <laughs> wealthy families. You know, yeah. so. So you like uh, basketball too? I do, yeah. I watched the basketball a lot a couple years ago, yeah. But now, now I try to focus more on, you know, YouTube and it's very it can be very distracting to watch all sports the all the time. <laughs> yeah. So slowly, I have walked away from watching oh. sports and movies and TV. <laughs> so, the, so you're cutting things like you pour more, more attention in that. <laughs> you know, and I have I have had my fair share of watching sport. Many sports. Always something new. Uh, Always people, you know. So they make it interesting. Never a dull moment, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. Well, I hope you are able to get many more rides tonight. This is your house? Uh, nope, nope, keep going. A couple more houses up. And two more up. Next one up to the right. Next one up to the right here. Next one. Yeah. Right here, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, Roman, thanks a lot. And yeah, La Tierra es plana. <laughs> All right, so check out the, uh, the, YouTube. the DVDs I gave you. And okay. God bless, man. The La Tierra es plana, right? Si. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a uh, it was a good night. It was very challenging for sure. I got like I said, thanks everybody for hanging out for that cab ride. I got uh, kicked out <laughs> of US Bank Stadium. Hey everybody, Helioskeptic. Shay Smith, Pippi, good to see you, everybody. Flat reflection. Yeah, through that, um, the last couple minutes there, I have a drop zone. So I'm always going to have a bad reception when I leave and head out to the house here. Yeah, you'll probably have to refresh now. <clears throat> Flat, uh, Earth Pond, what, that 9 11 was an inside job. Little insider joke there. SES, good to see ya. Yeah, I got a bad, bad reflection there. Actual intelligence, good to see ya. So we should be back on. Hope everybody is there. Jordan, good to see ya. Hey, everybody. So just kind of a recap of what happens during that. U.S. Bank Stadium Expose 
we uh, were able to get a lot of really good conversations. I had the... I was sporting this signage, mostly. This guy right here. I was wearing that. So we were walking around holding that signage. It was connected to the lanyard. So we were just doing research flat earth. I also had uh, this guy out there too. Had some really good conversations with some people, but most of the time people would walk by, see the research flat earth, and <laughs> give it a laugh. You know, hey, you're an idiot. You're a moron. How could you ever say that we live on a flat motionless plane? What's wrong with you? So, a lot of ridicule and a lot of name calling, but it's to kind of be expected. I'm not really surprised. You know, a lot of uh, alcohol going on. And uh, yeah, hey Mike S., yeah, I'm doing great. We just returned home from U.S. Bank Stadium. I got kicked out, so if you're new to the update here, I said uh, I was holding the, I got my selfie stick here, and they just were upset with the selfie stick action, and I was getting ready to leave anyways, so they, I think they consider a selfie stick as a weapon, <laughs> so <clears throat> all is one, did you run out, of, out onto the field because you got kicked out? No, I wish I did. Research Flat Earth. I I didn't I I did take a couple of pictures of my seat. I didn't search out where ESPN and all of their information was at. I just felt like it was more important for me to just stay out and hang out with the public instead of searching out, you know, ESPN cameras and whatnot to try to be on TV. It wasn't, it's not about, you know, trying to do that, because I think I would have lost a lot of time trying to seek out a camera. So I was able to just use the opportunity to get a, a lot of really good footage. People just walking by in just a zombie state, so you'll see that quite a bit. On my way up to my seating area, though, Hey, we're back. So, <laughs> yeah, run out onto the field. That, I mean, I don't want to get arrested. That's one thing I don't want to cause uh, myself to get into the spotlight intentionally. We're trying to, you know, ease our way into getting this information out there. And there's no reason for me to get arrested and take myself out of the game too early. Yeah, Xbox Z says ESPN probably would have kicked you out instantly, right? So, especially if I have my selfie stick. So, if I do go back, I'm just going to keep the selfie stick at home so then I don't have to worry about that. And then, obviously, I'm going to have to keep my bag at home. They won't let you carry this in there either. Um, it has to be a, a bag that's clear. It's got to be a clear bag. Something like a foot by foot or something like that. Because we're all terrorists, you know. Pretty ridiculous. All is one now. If they let everyone have selfie sticks, would you feel more in danger? I know, right? And then everybody would be armed. Yeah, they really are a flat reflection. I was really pretty aggressive with people out there. It got to a point where I just was standing there and I was just letting everybody have it, you know, because I was just so frustrated with the zombified looks in everybody's eyes where they were just so focused on football or food. Like, I would say most of the people, a third of their time was spent in line trying to buy food. Right? So... It's really disheartening. I, I just... I feel so... Uh, I just feel so sorry. For, I mean, I really do. I feel sorry for these people. Grown men dressing up in costumes for football. And then they're going to go home tomorrow on 
Tuesday and go to their W-2 tax paying job. $8 waters. Yeah, exactly. All is one. Pippi. Flat Tierras. Yeah, flat, okay. Flat Terrace. Flat Tierras. Uh, universe, people are overreacting to everything that they think not normal nowadays. Yeah, exactly. If, you, if you're not thinking on mainstream ideas, uh, they look at you cross-eyed, and they even go to the extent of calling you a name just to make themselves feel better. And I had a guy that he, he just, he wouldn't listen to me. He, all he wanted to do was just call me names, and that's just all he could do. And once he started swearing, I was just like, you know what, dude, I have no time for you anymore. I offered him my information a couple of times. Whether, you know, whether my information to the trolls and to the mainstream people who believe school and science narrative, you won't even, like, explore the idea that you might have been lied to growing up. I mean, you were lied to about Santa Claus. Your parents didn't tell you everything, did they? Did they tell you about your mor their mortgage payment when you were growing up? Did you know how much they paid to keep a roof over your head? Did they tell you how much they made at their job? How long they... You know, I mean, all this other information. So do you really think that your government is going to tell you the truth about everything? I mean, give me a break. Like, what is wrong with you people? Seriously, you think that... Your government is going to tell you the truth about everything. It's asinine. It's an asinine idea for you to think that the government is going to just tell you and spill the beans and, and, not, and not keep anything from you. And I hope that the people that I gave DVDs out to, you really look at the information, you don't take my word for it, because you're taking somebody else's word for it, right? Like, their information seems to be more prevalent than my information. This guy kept on spouting about, how oh, I don't have a degree. You don't have a degree. How do you know I don't have a degree, man? Why does that matter? Why do you have to have some assurance that I have a degree, so that means I know what I'm talking about? Yeah, all is one. I gave, I gave out all my DVDs. <laughs> I gave all um, all of my DVDs, and I gave out all of the the cards that I had on me. So that's it. I mean, that's all I can do. And then I just do what I do, and then hopefully they figure it out. And then I just move on to the next group of people. You know, I'm not there to convince anybody. That's just not my role here anymore. If they want to if they want to be convinced, they have to go through that process themselves. They have to go onto YouTube, they have to go onto Google, and they have to live and listen to contrary ideas uh, to what we have been taught. And yeah, so they have uh they have the information. You know, they had a guy coming to to pay for a, a football ticket to get inside the stadium, and I watched about a total of one minute of football because I wanted to get good pictures of my stadium seats and just kind of show everybody, like, the view that I was at. And it's a really, I mean, you got it. I do admit it is a very nice worship center to worship these idols running around that you'll never meet, that don't give a rip about you, they don't care about you, except for the money that you provide them. Flat reflection, bread and circus is all they want. That's all they want. Pippi, PH, PH doctor, proof. Yeah, exactly. They want, they need to hear it from CNN. They need to hear it from some accredited person so that it makes them feel better that somebody who spent $200,000 on their education can, can that then they'll be convinced, right? This guy was just totally pissed off that I was negating hundreds and hundreds of years of research, right? 
Who cares? Why why can't I do, why can't I say that I don't believe anything those scientists say? <laughs> yeah. DJ says I got a PhD in exposing NASA's lies, right? I got to I'll use that next time. Yeah, how dare you question experts? A universe says. All is one now. You find creative ways to intrigue. Yeah, and I guess meeting people where they're at, at a football stadium, at a park, you know, walking around downtown Minneapolis, just approaching them and giving them an idea. So, Alchemy, big ups, authentic and tech. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Will do, sir. Continuing the effort of red pill injections to the public and I'm not gonna stop so it's just really encouraging for everybody out there I really appreciate you you know bows to you all of the fans positive or negatives uh, viewerships the detractors the people who see my video once and then move on I, uh, I just hope that I can at least provoke thought and give you an idea of what it's going to be like if you were to go out and try to talk to your friends and family. Like That's really one thing that I try to do is just give you a perspective of what you might encounter. And we've seen a lot of different people. Some people are into it and some people hate it. Some people are open-minded. They don't agree with you, but they'll listen so I hope that at least the, you know, some over 200 hours that I have available for you to watch uh, is an encouragement to you. And it can give you a little bit of a sliver of hope that there are people out there. And it's just going to take a while to dig out the prime gold that is out there. There are people who want to hear and people who want to know the truth, but... You know, unfortunately, you got to deal with a lot of ass hattery and people who are going to call you names. But if you can get through the name calling and the mockery and the ridicule, there are really good, um, solid seekers of truth out there. It just takes a while, okay? Just please, you got to be patient with people, okay? Uh, Jordan Hatch, yeah, you totally butchered Lake Calhoun. <laughs> That's all right. Earth Pond, yeah, it's hundreds of hundreds of years of lies, Earth Pond says. And it's gonna take a long time for us to kind of uh, tip the scales for us. <clears throat> DJ says social experiments are fun. Fly reflection, they have no idea how much ahead of the no curve you are, <laughs> right? Uh, Jordan Hatch. A universe, people always say they don't question professional experts, right? But they question me. So, it was a good day. You know, I, I just... <clears throat> I show you what it's like, you know? I show, I show you what it's like. This is what it's like. I show you the positives and the negatives. I don't just show you the negative... I don't, don't show you the positives... You know, and, and God bless them, you got people that do the same thing that I do, but you only see the positive interactions with them, right? Oh, this is such a great job, you know, like, you did such a good job communicating the information. Well, how many bad interactions did it take to get to that one good interaction, right? Let's see people's true colors when they go against negativity. You know, let's, let's start being real with ourselves and each other. You know, it just gets to that point where I just start getting frustrated with even just flat earthers, you know? And I try, and I do bite my tongue a lot, and I, you know, like I said, I appreciate them and what they're doing, but it's just, we got to see the both positives and negatives, too. You know, and I try to show you both sides. I show you the live interactions, and that's why I want you to really out there get an understanding of what it might be like to talk to your friends and family and co-workers. Like, you might get name-called, you might get ridiculed, you might get mocked. 
and and as much as as frustrating and as 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 it can be there's there's so much more positive out there we just got to see and continue to press forward because there are people out there who want to know the truth who want people like us to go out there and challenge the narrative because we can't keep having the establishment giving us and spoon feeding us lies if there's nobody out there to challenge the narrative then they think that they can just continue to do whatever they want you know and that's asinine that's not gonna happen on my watch we have to keep just pressing in man because I'm getting sick of it and I'm I just I know it's frustrating for most people you just want to walk away and take a break you know but you gotta if the time that you take a break the time that you keep your mouth shut that could have been one person that walks by who wanted to know the truth or at least have a, a planted seed you know just an opportunity to hear truth because maybe they're having a bad day right you know and maybe you're having a bad day and the best way to make your to get yourself to have a good day is to share something with somebody else. You know, we need to stop thinking selfishly about ourselves and our own feelings. Well, we need to start thinking about other people's feelings. About where other people are at. Be the encourager. Don't just sit around and wait for people to encourage you. Be the one who steps up and says, Hey, you know what? Uh, you look like you're having a bad day. Let me buy you a coffee. You know, you look like you're having a bad day. Mind if I buy you a meal? You know, and then you can use that opportunity to share some truth with them. Plant a seed. I mean, and you don't even have to, like, have some agenda in it. Just show somebody that you care, and it can tarry on to the next person who shares truth with them. Right? I mean, I know that we all want to just spit out truth and get people, you know, to know the truth and know the earth is flat and 9-11 and all this other stuff. Maybe just... Have a regular conversation with somebody and say, hey, how's it going? You know, you just, I don't know, you just, I don't want to, like, throw you under the bus or anything, but it looks like you might be having a bad day. Is everything all right? And just listen to what they have to say. And you don't even have to mention Flat Earth. You don't even have to talk about chemtrails. Right? Because if you just show that you care, maybe you'll run into them again in the future. And then that'll be an opportunity because you've already planted the seed or maybe you're planting the seed and somebody else walks by and waters it. And by watering it means they're, they're also going to, you know, be nice to them. And if we're all doing that as a community, if we're all doing that as a human race, you know, then the lies and the deception is going to be uncovered. And yeah, I mean... Don't take your vaccines. I mean, right? I mean, wake up. But, so, I got some, I got some content I got to upload onto my computer. Got some content I'm going to upload onto my computer and then uh, I'll put it all together. So hopefully by this time tomorrow night, we'll have uh, the full episode of authentic intent in U.S. Bank Stadium. I can't thank you enough, everybody. I just, I want, I want people to just be patient with them out there. They don't know any better. They don't know the lies and the deceptions. You gotta take the punishment. If you're not ready to take the punishment, then get off. You need to leave. You need to go. You know, you just walk away. It's okay. And then come back when you're ready. Simple question. How about a list of the best five or 10 questions to awaken a globe? Number one, how do you know it's a globe? Number two, how can you prove it's spinning? Number three, why do you believe the moon landing and where is the curve? Yeah, and I'd love to get like a a five or six page pamphlet something to teach 
you know, just your basic uh, flat earth observations, right? Bring that, it's like a pamphlet and you just hand out to people and you can actually teach them while you're talking to them. Hey, I got these uh, interesting flat earth observations. These are, are some proofs that we can use and water is the number one proof. So, I, I just really encourage you guys, keep pressing forward, keep on the pedal, this isn't over, we're just beginning to start waking people up and getting the confidence and the encouragement with everybody else to speak about these things in public, to friends and family, so we just need to be a community of encouragement and you know, yeah, the typical Globies, just forget about them. Don't even give them time anymore. We can't keep casting our pearls to swine. We have to have better discernment of those who are truly seeking uh, truth and wisdom. So, I guess that's it, you know. I appreciate everybody so much and your viewership and your encouragement and your comments positive or negative you know give them to me you know constructive criticism how I could be better how you know all of us could be better and we just gotta sharpen iron with iron and we'll all get through this together okay flat reflection you do great with the good and non young peeps also thank you and you also keep it up guys and girls we just got to keep going, okay? It, this is going to be a long, long road ahead, and it's going to be tough. Shay Smith, Osher, not if you can tell them it's kind, some kind of a survey and wear a badge, right? Uh, all is one now. What's the next on schedule? Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave that up to surprise. We got some things in the books working right now. Uh, later this week, though, I do have Best of Authentic Volume 2 coming out. So look for that later this week. I'm putting that together right now. Just uh, finishing touches on that. A lot of interactions from Cinco de Mayo, 2017, Dino Quest, Comic Con. Really good interactions, positive and negative. So, you know, just looking forward to all that. And. Got to keep you guessing, right? Can't give you all of it in one sitting. You know, we got to keep got to keep people coming back for more, right? And uh, it's never a dull moment here on the uh, level, motionless plane. That is the name of the game. Pippi, Josh, thanks for your encouragement. Love, strength, and truth. Yes, to you also. God bless you all. And that does it for this episode of Authentic Intent. Have a great night, everybody. See you soon.